Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina, and I work with many, many, many businesses on setting up and getting the most out of their QuickBooks so that they can guide and grow their business. In this video, what I wanted to show you was how to reconcile your bank statement. Okay, now this is very important in, in QuickBooks that you record everything that comes in and out of your checking or savings or money market account in your business each month and then it's very important to reconcile your checking account in QuickBooks that way you make sure that you captured all your expenses all your deposits and everything coming in and out of the business and you'll know that you have the right checking account balance in your QuickBooks file Okay, so let's say the end of the month comes and you get your checking account statement in the mail. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Banking and then click on Reconcile here. Or from the home screen, you can just click on Reconcile. Okay, and then the first thing you're going to do, it pops up this screen, is you're going to say Checking. Which account are you reconciling? Checking, savings, petty cash, whatever it is. Let's say Checking. And you're going to look on the bank statement and you're going to take the ending balance from the bank statement. Okay, since this is a sample file, I don't have a bank statement, so I'm going to enter in, um, just put in the same balance here. But again, this is going to be your balance from your bank statement. Down here, you're going to enter any service charges that you had. So let's say we had a $15 service charge, the date. Then you have to assign an account. And then let's say that we earned two cents of interest. Okay, we're going to change this date to 115.08. And we're going to put in interest income for the account. Then you're going to hit continue. Okay, this is telling me this is 30 days in the future. That's okay for the sample file. So in QuickBooks, it brings up this screen. On the left side, there are checks and payments. This is everything that came out of your account, and these are all the deposits that went into your account. The first thing I do is I check this box to hide transactions after the statement's end date because it gets rid of everything after the statement ending date and makes it a lot less confusing. So what you're going to do is you're going to first look at your bank statement at the deposit section. And you're going to look on your statement, and when you see the deposit for 763328 in this example, you put a check mark there. And so on for each of your deposits. Okay, once you've checked off your deposits, look down here to this number, and this number right here should add up to the total deposits that show on your bank statement. If it doesn't, then recheck your deposits and go back and enter any deposits that you may have missed. All right. Then the next thing I do is I go over here and I sort this column. So I click here and that sorts it. And you'll see here that I have EFT transactions. Those are non-check writing transactions. I paid them online. Uh, I used my debit card, whatever the case may be. And then below that, I've got the check numbers that were written and have not cleared. Okay, so you're going to go down your bank statement, and I normally check, I look at the checks first. And if they are listed on as clearing on my bank statement, then I will check them off. And then I look at all my EFT debit transactions and I check those off as well, making sure that they also came out of my checking account on my statement. Okay? Now, in the end, you want to make sure that all your checks and debits match the total on the bank statement. And if they do, and you have the correct service charge, interest, beginning and ending balance, there should be a zero difference right here. When there's a zero difference, that means you have reconciled, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on Reconcile Now, and you're going to get the option to print 
your report. I print that report, I attach it to my bank statement, and I file it. Okay, it's as simple as that. So this is a, a quick instruction on how to reconcile your bank statement. I highly encourage you to do it once per month uh, for 37 in-depth video uh, videos on QuickBooks and how to use it from start to finish, literally every nook and cranny of how to use it, plus an advanced video series. Please visit my website. At, it's the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.